Hello again my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Honest Homemaking and today we are in the bathroom. Let me just preface this for you. We have one bathroom and five people in the house. So it gets a lot of use. We also do not have an exhaust fan. There's no exhaust fan in the bathroom. So I'm going to show you something that is gross and disgusting, but I'm going to clean it and we're working on it. <laughs> Much like everything else. Our bathroom, since we have no exhaust, the moisture can't go anywhere and so we get mildew on the walls and it's disgusting and we all hate it. And at some point we will put in an exhaust fan and hopefully that will help. It's not as bad in the warmer months and I guess that's because it it dries but in the winter time it's cooler and so there's just there's always moisture on the walls so <clears throat> today we're gonna spring clean the bathroom so the first thing that you're probably going to notice is the half painted bathroom cabinet the story about that is, is I wanted to paint it and my niece was here and I had some leftover paint. So the two of us painted it with what we had and I do have more paint and I just need to paint it. We also have new cabinet knobs and things like that. I just need to do it. me how much stuff that we have. I had so many old coagulated nail polishes that I never use. If you're wondering what's in the big container, that's my sister's makeup that I have to return to her. I'd like to do something inside this cabinet. I'm not sure what. I have some contact paper that I like that I may try to put in there when we do our bathroom spruce. I'm not sure yet. I'm undecided. Do you have any suggestions? Leave them down in the comments. If you're wondering what those cables are on the side of our vanity, that's our, Chris has an Apple Watch and I have a Fitbit and those are our docking chargers for when we take showers. Short people problems. Your arms get tired before you get the shower curtain down. what I put in the trash can. I just squirted some shampoo in there and ran hot water so that it could soak while I scrubbed other things. And I'm doing the same thing with the little one.
If you're wondering why I'm scrubbing the shower curtain instead of just buying a new one because they're only a few dollars, it's because I don't plan to go to the store until a few days after this and I don't want to be without one in the meantime and I don't want to hang the dirty one back up. So I'm scrubbing the one we have until I buy a new one. I am trying to get away from the really harsh chemicals in the cleaners. I'm using the method there to clean the toilet. I, I did use some, I think it was scrubbing bubbles on the shower, but it was the last one I had and I don't plan to buy a new one. So we are slowly making the switch and I'm finding that the natural cleaners work just as well and you know, they're not bad for you and they don't cost much more, so why not? So we have two scales because our main scale is a Fitbit Aria. It sends a small electronic current through it. it does, you can't feel it, but it measures your body fat and they say not to use that when you're pregnant. So we have an old fashioned step on one for me. So this is me attempting to scrub the mildew off the walls, which proved to be very difficult. I'm going to talk about that here in a second, but I was not very successful. die scrubbing this mildew off the wall if you know that's drastic but um I'm so hot and sweaty and it is so hard to clean mildew off of the wall we're painting in here soon um, because Chris we can't stand the color gray that it is and anyway so we're we're painting in here soon 
But in the meantime, I don't want there to be mildew all over the wall. So I'm scrubbing it like crazy. And I showed you already, but I'm gonna show you again. This is what it looks like before I scrub it. Yes, I know it's gross. I cleaned over there. Well, I cleaned all the way around the lights too. And this corner over here, I think might have been the worst. And there are still spots like, I don't know where my finger is. That right there is a mildew spot, but it's better than it was. So I'm just trying to, oh wow. So I'm just trying to be happy with the progress that I'm making, but it's really frustrating that I can't get it all off the walls. That spot on our floor is just water damage from people bathing and showering over the years. We would like to put tile in the bathroom, but we'll see when that happens. My favorite thing is at the end putting the rugs back. They are so fresh and fluffy from where they just got washed and it feels so nice on your feet. really quickly um, this is just Leo marked all over it and it got wet but empty trash got our laundry purge and organize all cabinets and drawers remove shower curtain wash and rehang purge showers spray shower and tubs spray toilet and scrub scrub wall scrub sink sweep floor mop wash rug and clean window dun 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 Whew. okay so I'm still winded and sweaty but I'm done um, I'm very proud to have gotten it done in one day and even though there are still things that we need to do like repaint the walls um, we're going to recalk the shower and because it's just I scrubbed it okay you guys saw that I scrubbed it and I've used a thousand different cleaners but the mildew won't come off so we're going to recalk the tub um, that is so much better than it was my shower curtain is rehung. It's a little wrinkly, but it's clean. Um, all of my cabinets are cleaned out. It's just so much better than it was. I still need to get a towel, a hand towel out of the clean laundry and bring up a new soap. But it is clean and it smells. Okay, listen. This, you know, I, I try to keep it real around here. It's honest homemaking. It's not pleasant homemaking. It's not glamorous homemaking. Uh, anyway, so I live in a house with four males, soon to be five males, and one bathroom. And two of those males are adolescent boys. And so our bathroom, even with air fresheners, often smells like urine. It's unpleasant. I clean it, but it just can't get rid of it. Anyway, so right now it smells fresh. I'm so happy. And Chris took them all to pick up some dinner. So I think I might take a shower, a nice, hot, long, well-deserved shower in my clean tub. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I worked very hard, so hopefully that inspired you to get some cleaning done yourself. I think next time, and don't hold me to this because you know how flighty I am and I might change my mind. I think next time I might try to tackle the kitchen. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because you know there are more spring cleaning videos coming. Bye guys.